Ladies and gentlemen, eSports waits for no one. Are you ready for more violence? We're going to go into a game right here between Hazelobs and Sokke right now. This is going to be absolutely fantastic, and it's going to be on the crossfire. Welcome, welcome to it. I believe this is the crossfire, yes. Can you hear the sound of cats? If you can hear the sound of cats, then it's definitely the crossfire. This map always freaks me out, folks. The ambient sound does sound like cats, and I will not be told otherwise. Right here, I will bring you Hazelobs in the yellow trucks. He is from Team Mouse Sports, and he is playing Protoss against his opponent, one of the best PvP players players in the world. It's Sokke from Team Attacks. He is in the light blue, baby blue trunks, whichever you prefer, and he is also playing Protoss. His Protoss versus Protoss is absolutely lethal, as I'd like to reference his performance in a recent Justin TV Invitational that he came in top, and he, he actually ended up playing PvP in two best of fives against the same guy, once in the winner's bracket, once in the loser's bracket, and after he got the feeling of him, it was actually against a player called Otero, you might be aware of him. He is a good player, a very, very good player, and he has one of the strongest four gateway attacks in the world and Sokke was able to deal with them in a wide variety of different ways those VODs will be up on my channel at some point in the not too distant future over youtube.com slash total halibut if you want to learn how to defend against a four gate and honestly I would not really blame you for wanting to look at that Sokke right now with the gateway coming down a little bit later than I suppose at Hazel Wobbs. And now, Hazel Wobbs Protoss versus Protoss is it's pretty good, honestly. So I expect this to be a very well-rounded fight. Both of these guys not really all that much into four gateway attacks. They like to go into other styles of strategy. We'll find out as to whether or not they actually decide to do that against each other. It will be an interesting matchup. Greetings to all of those who are currently watching uh, by the Alienware stand who are bringing you this £5,000 gadget show invitational between some of the best players in Europe right now. If you're just watching this, this is your first StarCraft 2 match. My name is Total Biscuit, bringing you all the play-by-play -play action right here from right now the most popular eSport in the world to the point where it's televised in several nations, including the one and only South Korea, where it's an extremely uh, popular sport. A lot of money going into this right now. Just recently had the launch of a $400,000 StarCraft 2 league called the North American Star League in, well, as you might imagine, North America. And that's excellent. What's well, got the IGM Pro League coming up and all of the these great little events that are being sponsored for a large amount of money and we've got a lot of players turning pro right now for this particular game a game of skill strategy and of course speed Right now, Sokke with the Cybernetic score, followed up by Hazelob Cybernetic score as well, and Protoss v Protoss. You can usually expect to see the same kind of builds to open up with. Hazelob's opening with a Stalker, however, whereas Sokke is going to start with a Zealot. Quick promo boost right now on this Cybernetic score. That's interesting. And we've also got one on the Cybernetic score for Sokke right now. Doesn't necessarily indicate anything per se, but it can mean that you're going into a four gateway attack. Now, Hazelob's going to keep the scout in for as long as he can until that Stalker comes out and he will keep an eye on what his opponent's doing and if we are going to see a four gateway attack we're going to probably start to see the buildings right now but I don't think so because we've got Sokke now going into a second assimilator which would indicate he's not going to do anything of the sort. Hazelwolf's with two gateways down. Does he have the money for a third? He actually does. He's not using it however so this is a little bit of an interesting build something that would not indicate that he's going to go straight into that four gateway style and Sokke now following up that single gateway with a robotics facility. That is pretty good play from him and he'll be able to get an immortal out nice and early. If Hazelwobs decides to go into, say, three gateway into Twilight Council into Blink Stalkers, which Hazelwobs has been known to do, and he does so very, very well. Of course, he can go three gateway into Twilight Council into Dark Templar, all sort of great things that he has options for, and no four gateway attacks are going to be happening in this particular game. And it's, there we go, Zealot versus Stalker. That's pretty much stacked in favor of the Stalker. I am afraid that Zealot probably won't go down, but you never know. Taking an awful lot of fire right here. 82 HP, 73, and... Uh, Hazelwobs eventually deciding, no, it's really not worth the effort. Right now, if we have a look at an economic comparison, they are almost equal over the gas income for Sokke, much higher than Hazelwobs, which is to be expected, really, considering he's going into this robotic style. Now, following up with those two gateways, this is something we do see quite a lot from Sokke, particularly in PvP, this immortal opening. Nothing wrong with it at all, especially considering that we've got a Twilight Council on the way up for Hazelwobs, which would indicate to me that we are looking at a situation where we might see Blink Stalker. Or, of course, we could see Dark Templar. Hazelwobs has been known to use both, and I wouldn't really blame him. He is very good at both, although I wouldn't expect to see Dark Templar against Sokke right now because of that early robotics facility. It doesn't make any sense. Observers will be out all over the field, and usually you Hazelwobs will tend to wait for a little bit later in the game before he uses Dark Templar. He doesn't use them in a sort of, I'm going to hide the Dark Templar shrine and then harass with them. He uses them as a, I'm going to mix it into my army kind of style. We've got a blink coming up right here for Hazelwobs. It's good stuff. Very, very good stuff indeed. Now, 
That Immortal is going to be really problematic for Hazelwobs. The question is, will Sokke find out exactly what's going on before that happens? Robotics Bay coming up for Sokke as well. Colossus on the way for him. Sokke only with a single Immortal right now. It's not huge in terms of how many he's got and in terms of how well it's going to be able to counter this Blink Stalker Force. Blink is well on the way. There's a scout by Sokke. He's going to see a lot of Stalkers. He's got to assume Blink right now. So I can only assume he'll start to pump out more, and I do indeed mean more Immortals. There we go. Straight into one right here. A good counter strategy to the moves of Hazelwobs right now. And Sokke once again looking to reinforce with a little bit of a mix of units. No, only a single sentry on the field right here. Doesn't really need to worry about the sentry right now too much. It might be useful against the firepower of the Stalkers, but not a huge amount. Hazelwobs starting to roll forward. He's sitting on uh, 10 Stalkers right now, and he does have the forward pylon, so this is going to start to get aggressive. Hazelwobs will start to pile on the pressure onto Sokke. However, there's going to be two Immortals already up. I'm not convinced. I don't think Hazelwobs can make the attack here. He's got to find out one way or the other. He hasn't seen the Immortal as far as I'm aware. He's about to find out, though. Oh, yes, and there we go. Immediately leaving, unfortunately, one Stalker cut out of position. The blink was not entirely perfect. And the first blood of this particular matchup going right here to Sokke against him. Right now, Sokke keeping an eye on his opponent. Neither of these players currently looking into expanding. They might very soon, however. If you have a look at this right now, Hazelwobs has the money. Sokke has the money. Hazelwobs just sitting on a nice little force of Stalkers. Doesn't really need to go anywhere. He's got good map control and good mobility. However, I'd be very concerned once Sokke starts to throw some Colossi into the mix and then starts to push forward with those Immortals to break the line of those Stalkers and then start to get really, really aggressive. Nexus coming up right here for Hazelwobs. Nothing for Sokke as of yet. Concentrating on this one base play. And there's a quick blink around the side. An interesting maneuver. And looking to try and take the Destructible Rocks at the back of the base. Give himself a, another way to go in. However, Sokke is ready for it. And the Immortals don't quite have the range, however. They only have a range of five. Hazelwobs has a range of six on those Stalkers. Nice positioning right there. And actually, Sokke can't stop him. Excellent stuff, and Hazelwobs now opens another path into the base. That could be quite, quite critical for him right there. A little bit of sniping action going on, raining it down on Sokke Zealot. However, Sokke is not taking too much damage. Won't be too worried for him right now. Charge coming up for Hazelwobs as well. He's going to mix things up. Twilight Council on the way for Sokke. Two Colossi will be ready in about 25 seconds time and the immortals on the field as well although still i am a little bit concerned about the fact that his economy is going to start lagging behind his opponent so okay for the time being but that nexus is almost complete and at that point things are starting to get a little bit interesting we have a look at terms of the army supply count. Sokke definitely ahead right now, especially with the Colossi on the field. Work supply looking in favor of Hazelwobs. And Sokke, once again, an inconclusive engagement there. And I don't really blame Sokke for not getting aggressive now. He needs to just keep those Stalkers away. He doesn't need to kill them for the time being. He just needs to make sure that this expansion right here is nice and secure for him. Which right now it is. Nothing to really worry about. However, Hazelwobs with the charging Zealots are on their way. That's going to be problematic. That's going to start to throw a spanner in the works. And bear in mind that Sokke's been preparing really to a deal with Stalkers and not charging Zealots. However, he does have a good force nonetheless, and those Colossi should be able to do good damage to them. The question is, will the Blink Stalkers be able to get in there and snipe out the Colossi before they're able to deal any real damage? Once again, Hazelwobs with an inconclusive engagement. He cannot go up that ramp right now. It just cannot happen. Hazelwobs, 35 probes to uh, 28 for Sokke right now. Inca comparison quite clearly shows that Hazelwobs does have a significant lead at this point in time. Looking for a push right now, a good force of Zealots on the field for him. 11, 13 Zealots right now, in fact, and 11 Stalkers. However, he is up against 11 Zealots on Sokke's end. Dark Templar Shrine finally on its way right now, and Sokke not ready for that. He does not have an Observer in the right place, or does he more to the point? Where is his Observer? It's actually in a forward position right now. Should be able to see it. Once again, Hazelwobs with an indecisive engagement against his opponent. Now splitting his force in two, and looking to do a little bit of harassment, trying to draw his opponent out of position. This could be a clever gambit. The question is, will Sokke fall for it? Right now, he's not going to do that. He's going to hold back and make sure that his position is good to deal with anything that comes his way. He's not too worried right now. Still, Hazelwobs, he has an economic advantage. He's got a tech advantage. That Dark Templar will provide an interesting mix. Remember that Hazelwobs likes to mix Dark Templar into his army. He does not, and I emphasize does not, tend to use them as harassment units. Three more gateways coming down for Hazelwobs as well. It's getting interesting, folks. Not your average PvP. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Not that we'd really expect it. This is a group stage, folks. This is best of one. This will determine the seedings for the double elimination brackets. Dark Templar on the way right here for Hazelwobs. One on the field, warping in a second one. How will he use them? More to the point. That's the most important thing. 
Where will he warp them in? How will he use them? In the mix with the Zealots right now, by the looks of it. And it looks like we might actually finally get an engagement right here. Colossi at the back. There's a force field split. Bling it right into the middle. Looking for a sniping tool. Takes one. Looks to take a second. And he does so. Looks to take a third. This is great play right here by Hazelwood. Driving all the way in there. Now look at the army count advantage right now. Still in favor of Hazelwood right now. Trying to cut his way through. Those Dark Templar. Are they still in the mix? Looks like they've been taken out. Soke was able to target. Find them down quite nicely. Quick blink out there by Hazelwood. Takes out the Immortal as well. However, Soke driving them all the way back right here. Hazelwood's not going to be able to hold the line against this kind of force, I don't think. And they're targeting fire down. Another Stalker once again. Zealots versus each other will, of course, end in death for the one that doesn't have charge. Hazelwood's pushing forward once again. We're looking at mutually assured destruction, however. Got reinforcements swarming in from the back right here. Stalker firepower coming in. However, does he have enough right now? There we go. Sokke warps out and jumps out of position and is able to avoid most of that fire. However, an initial warp in right here could get Sokke Stalkers trapped in the middle of nowhere. That's not what you want right now. Army supply in favor of Hazelwobs. And if the Stalkers do not hold the line, this will be a good game right here. GG, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Nice play there once again by Hazelwobs, showing a dominant PvP style right now.